Hey everyone, welcome to my video on height maps in Lumion. Now, this is a, um, a fairly low level way of making uh, terrain inside of uh, Lumion. While it's very, very efficient, uh, if you have to do things like drop roads or anything that uh, kind of interacts more with the landscape, the best thing I still think is to use like Blender, SketchUp, 3ds Max. But I do think that this is a really cool trick for making uh, some really quick um, just elevations in your render. Um, a good example of something I think this might have a uh, good use for is if you're doing like a construction site for maybe something like wind turbines and uh, you know maybe you're putting like a hundred down well you could get uh, I believe a four kilometer uh, or sorry a square sorry four square kilometer uh, area is the max that you can do this trick with but basically in that area you could uh, show exactly where uh, the you know the hundred turbines are going to be and then you can just kind of paint a little road on in Lumion. Uh, so to do this though is you're going to go to landscape uh, you're going to go to the height and then as you can see here we have like this yellow line here so that's the boundary of the height map to my knowledge you can't expand this that's kind of a limitation uh, with Lumion uh, it will your height map will just fill this area so what you're going to do is go to load landscape map or height map and I have two options here so I'm going to click this one and then as you can see we have a, a valley come in so this is what the map actually looks like. So if we kind of look at this at the same time, like you can see uh, like th this black line going through it, that, that becomes the valley. Um, and as I said, yeah, this gets turned into, I believe, four square kilometers, uh, two by two. So yeah. And then what you can also do is we'll just uh, hop in this other one here. Then you can just hit height map, and then you have another one. This one is uh, a little bit more jagged, as you can uh, see. So I'll, I'll pull that one up quickly, too, just so you have an idea. And that one looks like this. So um, yeah, it's pretty cool that you can switch back and forth like that. Something I found actually worked pretty well too is if you do have a really jagged one like this, I actually like to smooth everything out um, just to make it like not as sharp and then actually go back to using jitter uh, because I found that that made it just not be like almost be as pointy. It just makes it look a little more mountainous. Um, but that's not really necessary. You just have to do that to whatever you think looks good. And then obviously you can flatten out the plateaus or whatever. But we'll go back to the original height map. Uh, and then what you can do is you can hit ocean. Now, I had already adjusted the height to kind of fit this. So um, you have, uh, as you can see, you have, well, one, we have like this cliff here because that's the, the boundary. But the ocean is expanding in all directions there. So you, it does kind of make a little island. But uh, you don't have, uh, I guess, a ton of options with that. So if you wanted to come in and put some water in, then you would just go to water here, click uh, place. And then I'm just going to hop into my one of the rendered modes here just so I have a better angle. And then I'm going to drag that out and drag this out. And I think I can just, no, oh no, I don't want to move it out. Or up, I mean. So I just wanted to basically cover that area. And then if I move it up, the water level rises. And I think that that's eh, maybe a little too high, actually. Just lower it a tiny bit. So that's, that's pretty good there. Now you can go through and just like at this point you can drop, you know, whatever um, areas of interest uh, might be in your landscape, or you can just, as I mentioned, you can come in here and just kind of paint the landscape a little bit. That is a little bit uh, too big though. So we'll just bring the uh, brush size down a little bit. And so um, what you can do is if you need to make like a path or something, you know, you can draw your little road on and um, that's pretty easy to do. And um, yeah, and that's, and obviously you can drop uh, whatever nature you want on there. So uh, you can just come in here and you know, drop a couple of trees. And this kind of gives you an idea of how small um, the trees actually are in comparison. So this is like a very big area. And then, uh, so in this one, I just came in, I put a little fog in it to give it some like, um, I guess just a little bit of uh, visual interest there. And yeah, it's, uh, this is probably the easiest way of making um, landscapes in Lumion. Uh, as I kind of mentioned though, like if you have to do a lot of complex things with the landscape, then I think the best thing to do is to actually do it inside of Blender, 3ds Max, or SketchUp. I think, or even Rhino, I guess those are probably some of the most popular ones. Any program that you can just basically uh, draw the landscape and then drop roads on top of, then that is the best way of uh, going about it. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Um, if you aren't, uh, if you aren't really subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, if you did hit that subscribe button and help me with the uh, YouTube algorithm, uh, I have a couple cool videos coming out this week. So, uh, if you want to stick around for those, that'd be really cool. 
Uh, for all of you that are subscribed, thank you very much for checking out the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.